And the question is, it takes a lot of effort to acquire the principles of this work so that they become a practical means of escape from this organic life. Since it's acquired, it seems to fall into false personality. Is this formatory thinking on my part? Am I missing something which would explain this ambiguity? I really don't know. It's a complex question, but I think it can be broken down into something quite simple. What I, what I perceive that you're really asking is if this work has to be taken into false personality, how can it work? That's a good question. And it's a good question because everything is false personality. We're told in this work, everything is false personality. Now find out what isn't. That doesn't make any sense because if everything is false personality, then there isn't anything that isn't. Because everything is everything, and then what isn't, there isn't because there's everything. But what the work means, what, what, what Gurdjieff meant when he said that was, everything for us, we're in our current condition, is false personality. In our current condition, as we are, we have to remember that as we are is not our potential. It's not as we could be. We are created as self-developing organisms. We could develop further than what life develops us. Life only develops us, develops us to a certain point. But at cer some certain point in this life, we have an option, an opportunity to develop further. Well, how do we do that? Well, that's what this work is about. This work is about how we develop further. Well, where do we start? Well, we start where we are. But we're not in a good place. Oh, okay, here's a good idea. You wait until you're in a good place and then develop. It's not going to happen, is it? There is no good place for us. This is as good as it gets. A good place for us is a good householder. A good householder is someone who realizes that he has certain duties in life and he fulfills those duties. So he's not a thief. He's not a, he's not a charlatan. He's not a phony. He's not a, he's not a person who's out there making his living off of cheating other people. He's someone who realizes he has a duty to society, to life, and he's willing to fulfill that duty, but he comes to the point in his life where he no longer believes in life. He no longer believes that fulfilling his duty is going to make him happy, that getting more stuff is going to make him happy, that getting a better husband or wife or whatever is going to make him happy. He's someone who no longer believes that life answers the question of what life is about. Life cannot answer what life is about. Because what life is about to life is the law of the jungle. And that's really not very satisfying, unless, of course, it is. And if it is, then you don't need this work. In fact, stay away from this work. Stay as far away from this work as you possibly can, because it will ruin you. It will ruin that whole dog-eat-dog, dog, get what's mine, whoever dies with the most stuff wins. It will ruin that. And you don't want, and you don't want the, if you're satisfied with that, you don't want that ruined. But this is for people who are not satisfied with that, who look at life and say, no, there's got to be something more. So what we're talking about then, your question is, well, okay, so if I'm going to, you're not going to escape from organic life because you're in a body. You escape from that, where are you? Well, I don't know where you are, but wherever you are, I can't talk to you. <laughs> so, so I don't know what good this work is going to do you then. But you need a body to do this work. So you don't really want to escape from organic life. That's easy. Just commit suicide. That's the end of that. Of course, people are doing that every day in one way or another. We're all doing it in one way or another, actually. What you're really asking is, how can this work work if it has to work with false personality? Well, very slowly, carefully, and with a lot of effort on our part. That's how. So yes, it does fall on false personality because there isn't anything else for it to fall on. But there is something else in you. If you're here, if you're interested in this work, then you have, then you're showing obviously that you have magnetic center, which is something in false personality, but somewhat separate from false personality. It no longer believes so much in false personality. It no longer believes so much in life. It believes that there's something higher, something better, something more. And it wants that. It desires that. This is the starting point for this work, magnetic center. This is where this work can fall. So it goes 
through false personality. And false personality will run up all the filters and try and stop it. I guarantee you, false personality will try and stop this work. And effectively does stop this work with most people. Very few people make it through false personality to actually really do something with this work. Most people just get stuck here. They take this work, they add it to their false personality, and then they become even more proud and more vain than they were when they started. If that's even possible, which I don't think it is. I think they just, they don't really reach new heights. They just somehow have different combinations for their pride and vanity. They just, they're different molds that they can pour it into. But it's still pride and vanity. It's still all about me. It's still my, what makes me shine and what makes me more powerful and what makes me better and what makes you worse and that. So yes, in a sense, this is formatory thinking on your part because you're thinking, well, it's either or. So that's formatory thinking. So yes, you, you've already answered that question. Really, you already knew the answer to that. When you asked, is this formatory thinking on my part? Well, you knew the answer to that. You know it's formatory thinking. What you're trying to do is find your way out of it. And that's why I'm answering the question. There's nothing wrong with it because you really do want to find your way out of the formatory thinking, which is great. That's why we're here. We're here to find our way out. But, but we're in it. Yes, we're in it. Now, let's find our way out. How can we do that? The principles of this work will fall on magnetic center as well as false personality. So it's like, you know, Jesus says in the Gospels, well, God makes his rain to fall on the good and the bad, his sun to shine on the just and the unjust, or something like that. Maybe it's reversed. Maybe his sun shines on the good and the bad and, the, and his rain falls on the just and the unjust. I don't know how it goes, but however it goes, please don't crucify me for it because I got it wrong. The important part is the meaning that the work will fall on false personality and magnetic center. And magnetic center will get something from it, and false personality will try and use it to its own end. So something inside of us, something small, but something, will start to grow, will start to be nourished, will start to be fed, will start to be watered, will start to have the sun shine on it, will start to grow. And that's what we're looking for. So that's how it works. Does that answer your question? That's good because we like to answer the question rather than just ramble on mindlessly for eight or nine minutes.